So here again, Wysham, River Y, a quarter to eight, April the something, 15th maybe. River should be in good condition. Back on the live ox. Looks like there's a bit of colour in it. It's not necessarily a good thing. Nice temperature today, 12, 13 degrees. Bit of rain forecast, bit of sun forecast. So we'll see how we go. To be fair, river's pretty clear. Actually wondering whether the fly I've got on is slightly too big. Fairly heavy, give it a run through in this fast water, see how we go. Early change of fly, just wasn't feeling the first one, actually a bit heavy. Water's definitely lower, so we've got to height this beach apparently. It's a slightly lighter fly but still got tungsten head on it, plastic tube. Last one with a copper body, really heavy. The river's reasonably clear, so I think they'll see it. Got a heavy sink tip line on, so it'll still get down. Reasonably short leader, no more than four. Four foot, really. I think they will move to the fly now. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm expecting at least to see a couple of fish today. And we've got to be a reasonable chance. I don't think you can ever say a good chance. Because it's April and it's the Y. But they've been getting, picking the odd fish up. On Sunday they had four. You think, well, that's four fish, that's good. You've got to remember that's six fishermen. So you're definitely averaging a lot less than one a day. I didn't see any fish show last time. I did see someone lose one, so they were there. But it would be nice to see one because it lifts your confidence. Got a new running line. The last one was tangling, it was a bit old. This is going out far better. So we'll see. This is a lovely pool, this. Called the Live Ox, I think, how you say it. It's only the second time I've fished it. I suspect the next 50 yards is the hot spot. I do like that bit there. Maybe down towards those two trees. We'll see. So I've just spoken to Joe the Gilly. We're now at one foot ten. She says it's about the perfect height. I need to come down to this croy. I'm pretty sure last time I was here this last stone was underwater. I'm sure it was about two and a half foot then so Probably sounds about right. There's an old croy out here, so it's a good lie just off it, apparently. Never know. Never really caught a fish on a short line like this, but I've seen Dad do it a few times. I thought I caught a fish on a short line in the River D actually, right at the top of Lummel's. I don't know what I'm talking about. Just 
actually about to swing. Do a little switch rod here. We have a trout rod and one of those heavy tungsten flies. Just seen something in the river down there. I think it might have been an otter. Whatever it was, it was a big bite that came up. That could have been a salmon. Down there, something down there. I'm sure, if it was an otter. It, Come again. Very weird. It wasn't a salmon splash, it was like it sort of just rolled through the top. Why? Well, I think it was an otter. It was weird, I'm going to keep the camera on. Maybe it was a salmon because I've certainly not seen the otter. It's almost like it's rolled through the top, a bloody tarpon rolling. Weird. Look at it, there's a couple of lies down there though, if you look. You have to swing it around with a really long line. A little groin on the far side there, so it comes through. It's a nice little channel this. I wonder what that was. Oh, a little pluck then, probably a trout. Could have been the bottom. Interesting. 
tighten it right over there. Normally, if there's a chub or pull, you get a couple. Feeling there's a shallow bar there. What's that fish? New pull for me, not fished this one before. It's called the bull's back, which is the bull's back is the stone down there, and that's the bottom of the pool. It's a harder pull to fish because it's very rocky. It's a bit all over the place wading. So I'm just taking it fairly steady down here. I still got no idea what that thing was that showed up there. I don't think it was an otter because it never showed again. So I can only assume it was either a pike or a salmon because it was big. So you see it's raining, or a little nibble then. A little chubby a trout. Come on, salmon. Come on. That is a good lie just here. Good lie at the top and then fish is better towards the bottom. So we'll fish the first bit thoroughly and we'll skip through. In fact, we'll fish it all thoroughly, aren't we on about? Bottom down there. Check the fly. Yes, good job getting the algae off the rocks. Nice in the water though. So I've now arrived at Coleman's, which is the bottom beat, and this is a Coleman's pool. Quite famous, that big rock in the middle. Height today is one foot ten. There's one salmon being caught this morning from the top beat, the spin-up. I've seen two fish today, one in the cottage pool. So we'll see, this afternoon still a chance. There's some canoeists coming down. Pant the best pant and catch fish anywhere down here, but it's top bit or the bottom bit is the best bit. But it can be anywhere, lots of little holes, lots of little lies. We'll see. I think the canoeists will push over. Hmm. About, I don't know, half past six, seven o'clock. See nothing this afternoon. We've caught another fish apparently up in the uh, cottage pool from the boat, which we fished this morning. That's two they've had today, so I'll fish around. I've put a sun ray on and an intermediate, well, no, a slow sinking tip. I'm just gonna. Strip it through, really. Obviously, seen a lot of flies today. It's reasonably mild. Some might grab it, you never know. Might be a bit early for this sort of style fishing, but you never know.
got to be fish in this pool. They must have been at resting and they've seen every other fly, so see if they want to chase something. Fish much higher in the water, just below the surface, I think. He said the water temperature was 50, 51. Should be. Should chase it. Last chance. Really, come on for the camera. Six fishermen a day, seven days a week, that's 36, 42 fishermen per week. They certainly don't get 42 fish a week. Must average. Hmm. 200 fish for the year. Ten a week, one every four trips maybe, a good average. Looking like the second trip and the second blank. Come on fish. Come on. Deep off the end there. fish in this bit there's got to be fish running and resting here oh that's very deep Right, a few casts off this groin.
come on. Boom. Come on, fish. He's still going down there to be fair to him. Right, one last chance. Nope, don't like to give in too easy. Let's drop it down here again. Ooh. We can get through this pretty quick. A big rock in the middle of the river. Stating the obvious. Can't think of any other salmon pool where there's quite such a big rock. Oh, you fighter. Deeper than a fort. Right, I tied this fly last night. It's got tungsten head. Come on, save you still last. Nice to see one. Oh, it's a lovely evening. I'm still clinging to the hope of catching one. I don't think we will. Five more casts. The other chap's gone. Don't want him leaving after me.
describes all these insects, not more trout rising. Thank you.